Hello friends, pray the Lord again. Pray the Lord, pray the Lord. Happy, happy, blessed new year. Happy new year, 2023. God has been good. He is our Alpha and Omega. He's the beginning and the end. And so he starts it and completes it. So happy new year and may God bless you as we begin our journey again. From these episodes that we've been having, Finding God, we are again saying in 2023, find God. Happy New Year and may God bless you. And so here comes a portion of scripture that will inform our beginning. And I didn't think about anything else but Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. But I shall begin reading from verse 28. And here as we begin the year, listen to what Isaiah is saying. It was a prophecy and he encourages us at the same time. That do you not know? So it puts Isaiah. Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God. The creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary. And his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Verse 30, that even youths grow tired and weary, and the young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like we eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Pray the Lord as we enter 2023. 2022, bye bye, has gone. And now 2023 is here. And so I come with this message. Of course, Isaiah is talking about weariness. Isaiah is talking about tiredness. Isaiah is talking about, you know, slowing down. And so he mentions even the youth. The young people with energy, that they can slow down, that they can stumble. You know, people, even footballers, you see them playing. They are young people, they are young men. But you see them being, you know, substituted because someone is tired. They need fresh legs on the field. And so each year that goes by, we get bruised, we get tired, we struggle with life. And so life is a life of, you know, full of ups and downs. So Isaiah brings a message asking the question, do you not know? Have you not heard? Because this is not a new thing. We have heard it. Years have come and gone. Times have come and gone. And so we have seen them. But he brings, he calls to mind, have you not heard? Have you not seen? The Lord is an everlasting God. And so as we enter 2023, we enter, I at least enter knowing and I call upon you to enter knowing that God is an everlasting God. And everlasting means he does not diminish in any way. He does not disappear in any way. He, can, he does not go slow in him, but he remains everlasting. His power remains. His strength remains. His saving power remains. His everything remains. And he remains God. And so as we enter 2023, I am just believing and trusting God, that you enter with him, knowing that he's an everlasting God, he's the creator of the ends of the earth. So everywhere that you'll be going, everything that you'll be doing, everything that you'll be thinking, everything that you'll be planning, he is an everlasting God. And so he gives strength, the Bible says. May God give you strength in 2023 because 2022 had its own challenges and have said bye-bye to 2023. And now he, his mercies, remember, as we read the Lamentations, his mercies are new every morning. And so each day that comes, each week that comes, each month that comes, each year like now we're entering that comes, the Lord is the one who gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. And he says, those who hope in the Lord, those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. My prayer as we start the year, my brother, my sister, that we hope in the Lord to renew our strength. And God is bringing newness. The former anxieties, the former fears, the former things should not, you know, we throw them off and insist 
and persist on and go on with your journey. Keep moving. And so in Isaiah chapter 65, verse 17, this same Isaiah, the Bible says that, Behold, the Lord says, I will create new heavens and a new earth. The former things will not be remembered anymore. Of course, actually, it, was, it could mean many, many things. But as we begin the year, God is creating something in you. Of course, actually, the message will come very easily. You, someone can interpret. You can, you can be talking about, you know, the end of the world, you know, making things new, this earth disappearing, this heaven disappearing, and God, you know, bringing newness of a new order of things like that. But now, now that you have entered the new year and you have been waiting for it, we also say that actually God is creating something new. He's bringing something fresh. And so... I plead with you and ask with you, I ask you as well, that to renew your strength, to serve in the year 2023. Renew your strength to love in the year, in the year 2023. Renew your strength to work in the year 2023. Renew your strength to do productive things. Young people, renew your strength and do something that actually will prepare you to high heights. Something that heavenward. Something that goes high. And in our relationships, renew your strength. To do something that will bring, you know, value to somebody. You know, in your conduct, in your work, in your everything. Renew your strength to do good. And so that actually the goodness will be seen, the goodness will be tested. The goodness will be known. And so, times of trembling may come. Challenges may come. Weariness may come. Of course, but anticipated. When you know that actually you are going for a journey, you are going to drive, you prepare yourself. You check the shock absorbers, you check the tires, you check the, the water levels, you check everything in your car. And so actually when, in case there is any bumpy road, you are sure that you are, you are going to be stable on the road. Now, during this season, as we start this journey, check ourselves to renew. Now, everything that is not right, that's why many people, at the beginning of the year, the tires, are, when you have a car, and the tires are, are old because they have been driven in the year, someone runs to the, to the dealers and puts new tires. So actually, you, you know, you are sure that you are moving and your, your safety is guaranteed. Now, this time, I am just asking that may God draw you closer, that your safety is guaranteed in 2023, meaning that you make an effort and abide with God. Abide with God. And so it is not about time or duration, but it's about faith. Faith that, you know, you, that God may show up in your life to renew you, to rejuvenate you, to energize you, to uplift you. So renewing means exchanging for something better. All the tires you put off, new tires, you have renewed. You are thirsty, you need water, you drink, and you begin, you continue with your journey, you have renewed. You are hungry, you eat some food, you have renewed. I mean, renewing is exchanging for something better. And so that actually you climb higher and things. When something go, grows old, you remove, you buy another one. Or someone gifts you with a new car, with a new shirt, with a new shoe, and you are exchanging for something better. So I pray that in 2023, you renew, that you exchange for something better. Even our habits of prayer, if you've been slow in prayer, if you've been low in prayer, if you've been sluggish in doing godly things, renew your strength. And I'm appealing to every daddy, Milton, Ishis, and myself to renew my strength. I appeal to you to renew your strength. And so that actually you move 2023, that God will bless you and go miles with the new strength, with the new energies, with the new power, with the new ambitions in your life. And this is the message that I come with as we begin 2023. So abide with God, my brother, my sister, 
and exchange your strength for his strength in 2023. May he stand with you. Of course, the Abrahams that we read about in the Bible could not make it alone, but God moving along with them. Josephs that you, you read about, you know, going through lives, you know, ups and downs, prison, you know, you know, being sold and, you know, he's there, but eventually he's elevated and God standing with him because he was with God. David and the others, remember these biblical figures that I've been talking about, abiding with God. And so the year 2023, I plead with you to abide with God, to renew your strength as you move along. So 2023 is here. And I pray that actually you saw, and the soaring high is going up with a new strength, swift and strong. We pray that God gives you the strength, my brother, that God gives you that you soar up and high, heavenward, upward, and, you know, upward. And actually there's a school that has a motto that upward and onwards. So you move, not just going up straight, but you move up and then going forward. And may God, who has started this year with you, move you along and that he will renew your strength. Now in Psalms 103, the writer says, pray the Lord of my soul, yes, my soul. And in verse three says, the God who satisfies your desires. So I pray that God will just satisfy your desires with good things in 2023, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. And in this verse three, is my dedication to everyone, well, Please take it that God satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. And may God renew you like the ego. The people have talked about the ego, the strength, the power, you know, the sight, that, you know, the swiftness. And because that's how it survives in the hard conditions, it stays up in the hills, in the stones, in the rocky places, but it must find something to eat. It cannot just sit there. And so it has to dive, it has to, you know, to find a way of survival. And so I pray that God gives you a way of survival in 2023 by renewing your strength. And so that you are able to reach out and, you know, do something productive and things like that. Now renew your strength in the Lord in the year 2023. And I have about three things to mention here as I wind up. One is that get along. Number one is get along with God each day, each moment, each minute. Get along with God. You never depart from the instructions that the Lord gives, the wisdom that the Lord gives. Of course, actually, all of us actually cannot thrive on anything. I cannot pride myself of anything, but I pride myself with my relationship with God. And so when you pride yourself in there, getting along with God, of course, we have talked about the biblical figures. Now, the man Joseph, of course, actually couldn't be a person to reckon with without the presence of the Lord with him. Think about Daniel, thrown in the den of lands and the three young men thrown into the fire, because God's presence was with them. So get along with God. Our God is our big, able, and strong God. He's our hope. And, you know, challenges can come, but get along with God. And so that he cushions, he cushions your situations. With hope comes strength. I repeat, with hope comes strength. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. May he increase your power. May he increase your strength. And so I plead with you in 2023, get along with God. Keep finding him. And of course, that is what we are created to do. Keep finding God. And so point number two, keep counting your blessings in 2023. Sometimes you are bogged down with the failures, a few things happening around us and draining our sight, draining our attention. But I have learned one thing, amen, to count my blessings. Now, I ask you to count your blessings as you enter 2023. This is a powerful and a profound truth. Something may be dragging you down. Something may be wants to bring you down. But count your blessings. As 2023 comes, at least you have increased by one year. At least you have increased by, you know, something. And so that actually God's blessings will get along with you. But those that God has been able to give to you, the things that you've been able to attain, the class, those of you who are students that has been, you have been able to pass to enter another class, isn't it? And whatever it is, count your blessings. And in Colossians chapter 3, verse 15, the Bible says that let the peace of Christ, this Bible, that let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts and be thankful. Now focus on the good. To be thankful, you must think, consider the good that is. 
that God has given you, that God has done. So we can be thankful when you remember the good that God has given you. And so I pray that God enables you to be thankful. Be thankful. Count your blessings and march on. 2023 is here. And may God bless you as you march on. Number three is that actually seize the opportunity today. This is the year that God has given you. This is 2023. Now, whatever happened in 2022, well, there must have been successes. Good thing that you actually were able to do. Yes, we thank God that God has enabled you to do that. But even the failures that drag you down, you say that January, that year was not good. Now, be optimistic. Embrace optimism. And trust God that things are going to march on. That even when they are what? God is your hope. Now, since the opportunity today, since the moment where it lasts, and since the opportunity now, whatever the circumstances, and serve God, and the rest of the things will come your way. So 2023 is the year. And just like Paul is saying, let your peace, let the peace of Christ rule, reign in your heart. Now, embrace Christ, seize the opportunity, know that plan this year, engage this year, relate with people well this year, and manage yourself this year, and take care of your environment, your surrounding nature. Be mindful of the environment that you are in, your house, your, your, your around, Seize the opportunity. Are you a father? Seize the opportunity to of being a father. And do something this year, 2023. Are you a mother? Seize the opportunity. Are you a child in the home? You are still a youth. Seize the opportunity. And do something. God blesses you. Seize the opportunity. Which class are you? Are you a student? Seize the opportunity that you are in that class and do their best. Do you have a business? Do you have a job? Do you have whatever it is? You have two hands. You can walk. You can think. You can plan. Seize the opportunity and do something for yourself. So in 2023, renew your strength. As Isaiah has put it to us, renew your strength. That God renews our strength as the eagles. And in Psalm 103, like we said, that God satisfies you, your desires with good things. And we trust, we believe, we pray, we hope and know that God is going to satisfy us with good things in this year, 2023. And it's my hope, it's my desire. And so, one, serve God. Serve your family, children, parents, neighbors. Let us serve. Let us serve. Church men, church leaders, church women, whoever they are, let us serve our family. Serve, I mean, serve God and serve your family. Now, serve humanity. The Bible says, love your neighbors, you love yourself. First, love yourself, and then you love other people around you in 2023. And so that the world will be a place to, to enjoy, the neighborhood to enjoy, the, you know, the relationship to enjoy. And then, finally, love yourself, you know, serve yourself as well. I've said this already. Of course, um, serve Jesus, serve others, and serve yourself. Of course, actually, there was a time I was preaching about this and then saying, yes, the message is joy, J-O-Y. Jesus first is J. Oh, others next, then yourself. Now, serve yourself. Take care of yourself. I've been a culprit of this many, many times. I want to do other things. I want to do, you know, to, to satisfy and, you know, to do a few other things for other people. And then I find myself, you know, uh, being put at the periphery. Now, as you serve God, serve others, but also remember to replenish yourself. Pray for yourself. Feed yourself well. Take care of yourself. Treat yourself. In the year 2023, of course, like someone said, that self-care is not selfishness. So as we enter 2023, new habits, new ambitions, new plans, new programs, and may God bless those programs. And just like we we're saying in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31, that you will renew your strength as that of the eagles, and you will soar high, you will soar up, and so that you fly, so that you move, and you'll not be exhausted, you'll not, you'll not fall down, that those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. 
They will soar on the wings of the eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. By God, who has started this year 2023, may that God be with you, remain with you. Now, like we said at one moment, abide with God and he will abide with you. And so that 2023 is the year to reckon with a year of success, a year of progress, a year of achievement, a year of victory. And we are trusting that actually when you do that, whatever challenges may come, you will see something good. Therefore, seize the opportunity and serve God in this year. May God bless you and watch over you. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Happy New Year. Blessed New Year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. <music>